she was like oh you're actually gonna work out in those being <laughs> that oh my god they kept this on there why did they do that to me this set you guys is so pretty and it feels so good and I wish I had the same delusion that I do when I was two and didn't think that I could ruin anything at all. I could never fall. I wish I had that same conviction, convinced I never need a fixing. Yeah, that girl really knew her business. Where did she go? Yeah, she thought she could do anything, thought she could get anywhere. Confident she's number one. And if not, then everybody's wrong Used to be calm, now I can't remember How I used to do it that I was a member Of confidence club, cause that don't last forever I wish I saw what she saw I wish I knew what she knew I love how she just stoned it But sadly I've grown it I know I'm still that girl But I don't know how to show it Like she knew ladies thank you so much for tuning into my channel if you are new here my name is Shireen and I bring you fashion and lifestyle video content welcome to another vlog those previous clips were from Saturday obviously and I obviously did not film um, for the past few days I was chilling this weekend um, me and my boyfriend did a few things around my house but for the most part we chilled we relaxed did not film, did not work. I really had such a great relaxing weekend. And I mentioned in a, I think in a recent vlog um, before this one that I was gonna have more weekends like this because typically I would fill my weekends with running errands, doing everything that I wanted or couldn't do during the week. And I would feel exhausted <laughs> come Monday morning when it's time to start a new work week. So wanted to have more chill, relaxing weekends. And I did just that over the weekend. It is now Monday morning. I am back to work. However, I have a lot of errands to run, so I'll be taking you ladies along with me. But first, let's talk about this outfit of the day. This is one of my work from home, loungewear, running errands outfits. It's one of those outfits that I can work from home in, hop on a Zoom call really quickly, or run out to the grocery store in the drop of a dime without having to go upstairs, change, and do all this other stuff. So, wanted to share this look with you guys. I did a haul in a recent video. It's probably like maybe four or five videos ago. I'll link everything that is still available down in the description box if you guys are interested. Make sure you visit my LTK shop as well because I often upload um, content from my social media there linking everything that I discuss in my videos all right so this set is from H&M it's like a waffle style fabric cropped shirt um, with some shorts very comfortable very airy it is like perfect for this weather I think it's gonna be in the 80s today so perfect to run out and you know run some air without having to be too hot so I'm doing a full monochromatic look today pairing this set with these Steve Madden sandals. You guys may have seen this on my channel before. I got these sandals last summer and I also have the denim pair. I probably wear the denim pair way more than this off-white pair, but I love the off-white. Unlike the denim pair, the off-white has um, gold gold hardware whereas the denim has silver hardware you guys i believe they may still have this on their website so i will make sure to check and link it down below if they do when i tell you i love these dad sandals so much they're so so comfortable i mean just so comfortable perfect for summer like i mentioned i have them both in this off-white pair as well as denim i'm wearing my gucci cuff that i always wear <laughs> um you guys have seen it so many times nordstrom drag bar necklace my everyday um necklaces from nordstrom's rack these earrings are from amazon um what else 
I will be carrying my Gucci super mini Marmont bag. They actually still have this on their website, so I'll be sure to link it below. I love this bag so much. I often, I wear this bag a lot, so definitely worth it. And then pairing it with these Amazon sunglasses that you guys have seen on my channel countless times. Um, I have three pairs. This has the lighter brown tint to them. And then on my lips, I am wearing this Maybelline Lifter Lip Gloss. Love this. This is in the color Reef. Y'all, this I love these lip glosses so much. These are probably my favorite <laughs> lip glosses to wear and I wear lip gloss quite often. But yeah, that is it. Very simple look, monochromatic, easy. I mean, perfect work from home outfit. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will check in with you ladies a little bit later. <laughs> All right, I am finally out of the house. It is almost three o'clock. Um, typically, I would have left around noon or around lunchtime, but I have so many errands to run and I didn't want to rush it. So um, I waited until I was finished with everything that I needed to do for work. So it is almost three o'clock and I am done with my work day. So we are first going to head to Target and TJ Maxx. I need some black girl sunscreen. I use that every day. Um, although when I do wear makeup, my primer has SPF in it. Um, I use the NARS um, Radiance Primer and I love it, but that is only when I wear, wear makeup. Um, I also wear my black girl sunscreen prior to placing my primer on and I use my black girl sunscreen every single day rain or shine I love that stuff and so Target sells it so I need to pick some more up um, along with some other things um, and I need to go to TJ Maxx because I need some more vitamins some probiotics and I went into TJ Maxx ooh, maybe like a month ago and they had so many different Ollie um, vitamins, the gummy vitamins. And I really, really do like Ollie. So I want to pick up some probiotics if they have it. I also need to go um, make a few returns to American Eagle. Um, I'm going to go to the post office to do a Zara return. And then what else? Yeah, we'll be out running errands <laughs> pretty much for the rest of the day until I um, go home change to go to the gym. So I will see you guys at my next stop and hopefully we can squeeze a thrift store in. We're, we're gonna see if we can squeeze one in, okay? Y'all know how I do. <laughs> been in your place, that's the lanes. Added up plus signs, it was on the table. Driving and vibing, bring the beer later. Wanna make it bigger, just a little bit of. They were showing up to my space, I'm a fashion dealer. I'm your biggest bidder, meet me in the middle. I just don't wanna settle. Feeling my own inner shot. Just being honest, there's no difference. I'm all just okay. Honest, baby, we got different phases. Give it all, take it all. I'm just feeling lazy. Just be honest, baby, we got different phases. Give it all, take it all. My little got so hand on me. Drunk machine and blue lemonade. So don't be the one so that can nag each other. Yeah. Under these lucid dreams, yeah. I'm not just a visionary. It's all making sense to me. Yeah. 
That you don't wanna leave just yet No, my eyes agree It's almost like when we first met Oh, I don't care, it's getting too late I want you and I can't wait Don't wanna spend a minute without you I know you feel the same So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say Damn, and yeah, you know what's up Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body So give me all you got right now all right, so we are pretty good on time. It is 4.30 and I haven't made it into Target yet. So I'm about to go into Target. TJ Maxx did not have the um, probiotics by Ollie. So I most likely will go to Walmart or um, in Target and grab them. I'll probably just grab them in Target since I'm, I'll be in Target anyway. <laughs> Find your keys where you last left them. Why you asking if you didn't need to check them? We stuck in old ways and I'm out of patience. Oh no, oh no. Sometimes it feels like I am suffocating, like I'm holding my hands around my neck. Oh, this face is a mess, and I swear I can't breathe no more, no more. That you say just to f me up, drag me down And the way that I just stay around This is a world, we're in too deep A place where we can't heal This trauma bonding, damn this shit is real The thrill I get when you things up Drag me down, why? Why the hell am I around? I blame myself for oh, this trauma bonding This shit needs to stop Are we ready? This shit is real Permission to heal Give it, give it This shit is real We need a heal Permission to heal Give it, give it I defend the shit you do like Stockholm Syndrome I hope to see a change that never comes But this is how it goes When I'm tripping on my toes Oh no, oh no When I'm acting cold you're getting warmer when I'm warm, you back at being cold oh, oh. This is me and you and This is what we do No more I can't take no more The things that you say just Drag me down And the way that I just stay around This is a world We're in too deep A place where we can't heal Okay, so we pretty much did everything we needed to do today except for go to the gym and I am starving. I had leftover sushi from last night. I am starving. That's why I picked up that healthy snack. I just picked up these, um, this protein pack. I've never had it before. It has turkey, 
um, dark chocolate nut clusters and cheddar cheese. And then I, I don't think, I, I may have tried this once. My sister may have introduced me to this before, but I usually get the kombucha um, brand. You guys have seen that on my channel before, but I wanted to try this one. And I did end up getting my probiotics. But anyway, you guys saw those in the previous clips. I was influenced by Jeronica Mycia, okay? It's okay. It's all right. I was definitely influenced by Jeronica because she, uh, if you guys probably follow her channel, she's a, a big influencer. She incorporates a lot of fitness, health and fitness into her vlogs. And she has been going to Target, getting workout clothes. And typically I stick to Nike because y'all see my busts are just too big to just go anywhere random thinking I'm gonna have strong support. Nike's, even Nike's medium support supports me enough. I definitely think it's time for a um, workout gear refresh, especially for the summer because I'm kind of bored with my workout clothes and having new workout clothes definitely make, motivates you to work out. Well, it motivates me. <laughs> This is pretty good. This protein pack is pretty good. Mmm. This is really good, you guys. Let me show it to you again. It's the P3 um, Portable Protein Pack. This is really good. So it's dark chocolate peanut almond nut clusters mild cheddar cheese and the slow roasted turkey breast browned with caramelized sugars they're fancy i cherish the moment it's high stakes i used to spend time on my time pay the way speaker thumping it vibrate she jump in my bones make it gyrate Sit before a crib, it's a five place. I turn off my phone for like five days. I show it, I know it's my time, lady. Jump started this from online, baby. Whatever we doing, it's live, ain't it? They envy, defended, they pride, ain't it? Don't say how they feeling in my face. Empty bottles of red wine laying on the floor from last night. We got a little drunk, yeah. Now I'm a little numb. Spending hours by your bedside, talking till it's dark out somehow. Can get you off my mind. Don't wanna say goodbye, bye, bye, bye. Maybe we should take it slow. I don't feel too comfortable jumping into something new right now. Yeah, I don't really know anymore how to feel something. Happy Tuesday, ladies. Happy Tuesday. It is a beautiful day outside. I haven't been out there, but it looks like a beautiful day. <laughs> um, and it's supposed to be really hot today. So um, I'll be running out to Target again. Yes, again. I know we were just in there yesterday, but I'm going to be honest with you. I did not spend a lot of time in any of the stores we went into yesterday because I was running a bunch of random errands. So I didn't spend a lot of time in the thrift stores nor did I spend enough time in Target. And I could not stop thinking about that workout gear that I tried on last night, that I tried on yesterday. Could not stop thinking about it. All night, I am thinking about the workout gear that I tried on at Target. <laughs> that makes no sense, okay? And I did not try on many different styles and many different sizes. Those colors were everything. So because I could not stop thinking about it, I feel like that is a clear indication that one or two may be mine, all right? So we're gonna go back into Target <laughs> so I can try some more on. So I'll take you guys with me. And then when we get back, I'm gonna do a collective 
haul just in case I get something from Target I can just add on to the haul but we're gonna do a collective haul because I want to show you guys what I thrifted yesterday I have a package from Zara that is waiting on my front porch that I just got notified so I need to grab that and um put it in the house and then I also got a package from Pretty Little Thing just not a whole lot of stuff but just you know, a lot of, um, I have packages from different places that I just want to do in one haul. And of course, including the thrifted pieces that I um, found yesterday. But yeah, I didn't like spend a whole lot of time in the stores yesterday. So I just want to do a dedicated Target run today. I'm not going anywhere else. I just want to go to Target because I cannot stop thinking about that workout gear in those beautiful, beautiful colors. Anywho, before we do that, let me show you what I'm wearing with my outfit of the day. This is a shirt dress. It is by All Saints. I got it from ASOS on sale a few years ago. And I'm going to be honest with you, I never reached for this thing because when I first got it, I didn't like the fit. And I still don't really like the fit. It just fits too big. It has no... Um, structure to it. And I know typically shirt dresses really don't, but it just fits too big and it makes me look bigger than what I am and I don't really like that you know <laughs> anyway um it does have shoulder pads though so it does give it a little bit of structure does give it a little bit of structure so instead of me wearing this to like you know out out for the summer I decided to start wearing this as a work from home outfit just because it's very comfortable very easy to wear I can run out do my errands still look put together still look cute but I don't love the fit I just don't love the fit um it's just too big that's all and it was too big when I got it I've lost a little bit of weight since then and so it's really too big um and you can see it like at the sides and all that stuff but I'll insert a clip it is I love the colors of this I love this um this lime color mixed with like different variations of blues and greens and grays um neutrals I love this is probably one of my favorite colors for the summer like a bright color um you guys know I don't wear a whole lot of color but I am getting into color so especially for the spring and summer typically I'll wear color like on vacation in my bathing suits and things of that nature but I am starting to incorporate more color in my wardrobe so anyway this shirt dress is by All Saints I got it on a great sale from ASOS a few years ago if you guys ever go on ASOS they always have All Saints and other um really nice quality brands and they'll always have sales so definitely look out for that i'm wearing a lot of the accessories that i wore yesterday so this is going to be kind of like a repeat um the same cuff by gucci the same um bracelet it's like that bar bracelet bangle from nordstrom drag allen crocchetti ring from essence the same necklaces from nordstrom's rack i'm wearing the same steve madden sandals just in case y'all weren't paying attention earlier in, in the video same steve madden dad sandals i have them in denim love them highly highly recommend i am wearing the same bag i mean it just all goes together and i'm gonna put it on right now because we're literally about to leave out okay and then I'm wearing these Amazon sunglasses. I'm wearing the green tint, um, but it's the same sunglasses as yesterday. It's just a different, the different style. It's or the different color. So that is the look. And oh. So yeah, that is the look, you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Let's go to Target. I don't have a whole lot of time. I love shopping in the middle of the day during the week because no one is here. I literally got the first parking spot in front of Target. Like, this is a dream, okay? That's why I do not like shopping on the weekends, even though I have to sometimes. And even when I went into the stores yesterday, no one was hardly there. I had to make a return at Target. Nobody was in line. It was just a much better customer experience ladies try to get it in during the week even if you work in the office try to go on your lunch hour because the weekends it's horrific it's horrific it's 
It's the end of the weekend But I still wanna turn up Yeah, I still wanna turn up All I want is to go again But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wanna Too many invitations And the last night was heavy. heavy I need communication Tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7 Every other second Just to make sure we were up to date Now it's closer to 11 And I ain't hearing nothing I just need to know that you're okay literally felt like I just had a workout in Target trying on all this workout gear but I'm glad I went back I end up getting a few sets but I had to jump back on camera because when I was trying on the workout gear I left out of my you know individual fitting room to go on the outside to look at the bigger mirror right I needed the larger mirror and I don't know about you but like even when I'm at my house and I'm trying on clothes I always go to different mirrors in my house <laughs> I don't know why it's not like you're gonna look any different but I don't know but anyway went to look at the bigger you know through the bigger mirror at Target and a lady was also trying on um, workout clothes but she was just finished she was just finishing up and she was like that looks really cute on you that looks really cute on you and I was like you think I was like I don't know I don't feel support and I feel like if I'm gonna be working out I may you know spill out or you know just be moving all over the place she was like oh you're actually gonna work out in those <laughs> I was like uh yeah she was like oh no I'm trying this on to go on vacation for excursions and I was like wow I never thought about that because to be honest with you it is perfect for a vacation excursion like where anyway I end up getting three of the sets and I'll show it to you guys when I get back home during the collective haul but one of my biggest dilemmas when it comes to purchasing workout gear or just undergarments or clothing period is my bust like I just have really large busts for you know in comparison to like my waist and the rest of my body a lot of times clothes will fit me everywhere else except for my bust and y'all it is just a problem all around I end up getting three of the sets and it is a little bit it's stepping outside of my comfort zone I'm not gonna lie because when I go to the gym I'll wear a sports bra and some biker shorts but I'm always going to have my t-shirt on okay <laughs> always um, the pieces that I did buy I do feel secure in the one that the lady complimented me on I actually did not get because I just did not feel like it was secure enough for me to wear it to the gym yeah I had to jump back on to just share that with you guys you know the lady definitely gave me a little bit more confidence because I told her I was like I'm not used to going to the gym exposed however I do feel like there's a way to elevate your workout gear and do it tastefully you know I want to make sure first and foremost that I do have support though because I don't want to be in nobody's face on the Stairmaster and my breasts are like freaking you know across the room because I want to be cute at the gym no way I cannot I cannot all right so anyway I'll see you guys at the house for a quick collective haul and then we'll wrap up this vlog. <laughs> 
All right, ladies, so I am finally back home and now gonna give you guys a collective haul. Like I mentioned earlier, it's not a whole lot of pieces, but they're just from different places. We're gonna start with Target since it's fresh on my mind and I can give good commentary because I literally just left Target. So I'll definitely insert clips as well. I did try on a few pieces. This is not a styling haul. Um, you guys will definitely see these pieces styled very, very soon. So don't worry about that, but this is not a styling haul. But we're gonna start with these pieces from Target. Now this was probably one of my favorite um, biker shorts that I just tried on from Target. The quality is so good. This is from All In Motion. That is the brand. I got a size large. It is high rise, six inches. You guys, these biker shorts are everything. The color is amazing, number one. The color is amazing. This blue is so pretty and so vibrant. But what I love about these biker shorts are the thickness of it. They're slightly, well, not even slightly. They are ribbed. So you can see the rib, the rib detail here um they are ribbed and they are high rise so they cover any little fupa okay any little any little stomach you have it will definitely cover it but it's really thick and it's strong support that is what th that that is key it is strong support so you feel a little bit more secure in this now the real test is once i work out if this flips down that has been that is my issue when it comes to certain brands such as like old navy their workout like leggings it flips down and that is the most annoying thing ever so i'm really hoping that oh my god they kept this on there or does this do i take this off they're supposed to take this off y'all i can't believe this did she keep this on here? Oh my goodness, they kept this part on there. So I'm gonna have to go in there for them to take it off. I can't stand them. Why did they do that to me? So I'm gonna have to go back and I'll probably go back today before I go to the gym for them to remove this part, but um, to remove this magnet here, I cannot believe it. And I don't think it went off neither, like the alarm when I walked out or I didn't even pay attention. But anyway, so yeah, this these are all in motion, high rise shorts. Um, I'm not gonna give an official recommendation <laughs> until I actually work out in them. But so far, like as far as me trying it on, A1, A1. But I definitely wanna work out in them because that is what happened when I gave um, a old Navy review, I waited actually until I worked out into a piece to give like a full review and do like a full video just on old Navy's workout and loungewear. And please believe my review did change after one workout. So I'm hoping that my review stays the same, but as far as like the thickness and the quality, this is really really good i really really like these biker shorts here like i mentioned i got the size large and i got the um the top to go with it now the reason why i decided on this top is because i feel like it gave me the strong support on the top as i feel on the bottom and i need it most importantly on the top um, it definitely gave strong support and coverage. One thing that is extremely uncomfortable when I'm at the gym and I'm showing too much cleave. I don't like the feeling. I know that it's like, you know, it's your body and you're at the gym. People are exposed everywhere. But at the end of the day, you have to do what feels comfortable to you. And for me, I don't like showing a whole lot of cleavage at the gym. I just feel like it is it's just uncomfortable for me. I feel like there's a time and place for it and the gym is just not the time and place because you're already exposed, you're, you're already moving your body, you're already on certain machines that probably, you know, you have to be in certain positions that could, you know, a, a perv could look at as sexual. I don't want to 
show a whole bunch of cleavage, you know, on top of that. So I really like this because it does cover you up. The only issue, it, not even a real issue, but the only um, part that I know I would make sure I adjust is making sure my breasts stay inside because as you can see, it's like a halter top and it goes a little bit more narrow at the top. So, you know, not to say that I feel like my breasts will spill out. I don't feel like my it will spill out at all, but I do feel like that side boob, <laughs> it gives a little bit of spillage with the side boob and I did have to adjust in the dressing room. So that will be the test for this one. But I loved how, although this is cropped, it still falls at a really good place. And because these shorts are so high, you really don't have to show any midriff. And don't get me wrong, you know, there's, I show my midriff when it comes to like these sets that you will be seeing um, in certain pieces when I'm going out. But when it comes to working out, I'm not really a big fan of showing my midriff. I, I'm just not a big fan of it. So anyway, I got this one. This is all in motion. And this is actually like they pair, you pair it together and it says tight fit, you know, and the pads are removable. So it does come with some, um, some pads to cover but they are removable thank god because they were just shifting when i was in the dressing room um i of course don't want to have headlights on <laughs> at the gym you know what i mean but i typically remove pads from my sports bras um because i do get really you know strong support for most of my sports bras anyway but i really did like this fit and i really love the color um i definitely think it was a great purchase I purchased this in two colors. So I got it in that blue and then I also got it in this like pink color. I love this neon color. Love it. Definitely glad I purchased it. And I also purchased, of course, the biker shorts as well. So these are the same thing, just different colors. And of course, I insert some clips. This is definitely outside of my comfort zone when it comes to getting ready for the gym. I typically do not wear anything that brings attention to me. I usually stick to all black. That is just me. I, that is what I'm doing. That is what I normally do. This is definitely stepping out of my comfort zone. I actually thought about walking out of Target without anything just because it's slightly uncomfortable to wear. So when I um, told you guys that story about the lady looking at me when I, um, you know, complimenting me in one of the sets and that I didn't even end up purchasing because it didn't give me enough support on the top. However, I am thinking about purchasing it for something different like loungewear or, you know, to go on vacation as she was um, looking for sets to go on vacation, to do excursions and just be really cute bopping around some island somewhere. So I'm definitely considering, but I'm glad that I tried numerous um, styles on and sizes on at Target because I can go on the website and just, you know, purchase more if I really, really love them. But the test will be tonight. If I love this set tonight, then I will go online and see what other colors they have. So this third and last set that I purchased, by the way, these are sold separately. I'm just calling them sets because they go together. <laughs> But this last set, um, I really liked it. However, I'm not sure if I would actually work out in it. This may be a running errand or just like be cute during the summertime. And I want to get more of these. So this is a like a nice, soft, but bright pink. Um, it's also by All In Motion. And it's like a cropped top. Um, although it has sports bra like ability, for me, I wouldn't go jog in this, you know, if that makes sense. It's not enough support. And I'm actually thinking about trying this on with another sports bra under it to see how I feel. Um, that may be the only way I do like a rigorous workout with it. But right now, I love this as like a lounge wear piece. Uh, it's also ribbed as well. And it definitely has some hold. It definitely has strong hold. But I don't know if it's strong enough for these boobs, okay? Okay. And then what the next um, piece, I actually did not think I was, I wasn't going in for this. And I normally just do biker shorts, right? But I went ahead and tried these shorts on. 
I absolutely loved them. Love, love, love them. They had other styles that were similar, but I absolutely love them. This one has like a drawstring, so you could tighten it at the waist, and it's double layered, so it has like a panty kind of, like a lining panty line inside so that you can, you know, feel secure. But I love them. They're, I guess you would call these running shorts. And I'm not like a runner. I don't, I used to run all the time and jog for my workouts, but now I stick to the gym just because I like to lift weights and do the Stairmaster instead. But I think these may be suitable for the gym. These shorts definitely, it's just the top that is questionable. But when I tell you I love the outfits, I love this as an outfit, like love. So I may actually purchase more pairs. And of course, I will let you guys know if I do and show you guys any additional pieces that I purchased from Target. These are also, of course, by All In Motion. Um, yeah, they had some shorts that were similar to this and I, they did not have the adjustable waistband nor did they have like they had kind of like a like an added piece on the sides here so it may fit a little bit different let me tell you what size i got so i got a large in the shorts and then a extra large no this top is actually a large y'all i hope this one i hope i got the right size because I may have purchased, did I bring in two sizes? I don't know, this this top is a large and I like the way it fit. Hopefully it was a large that I actually tried on. And then with these shorts, the biker shorts, I got a large in the biker shorts and then I got an extra large in the top just because y'all know the busts are big, you know? But anyway, that is what I just purchased from Target. So I am happy with my purchase. I'm proud of myself for stepping outside of my comfort zone. Hopefully I don't feel embarrassed at the gym today. <laughs> All right, y'all. So since I have to take get my sensor taken off of one of the items, I retried these items on and I'm deciding to return these just because this just does not give me the support that I need and it's a little bit uncomfortable to wear knowing that I'm not fully supported and I just prefer to invest in another set that actually gives me the support that I need or even getting another color in the set that I really do like and that gives me support versus settling for this one. So I am going to return this. However, if you have smaller bust and are okay with light support, I highly recommend this. I love it so much. It just doesn't support my body. So let's go into my pieces from Zara, y'all. So I got a set from Zara that I'm about to show you as well as Pretty Little Thing. You guys, this is why, I mean, this is, I am a person that, you know, I always say on my channel, I shop everywhere. Hold on. You know, I always say I shop everywhere. I shop everywhere. I do not limit where I, you know, where I shop. However, the Pretty Little Thing set does not compare to this Zara set. Does not compare. Does not compare. I mean, look at this, y'all. And of course I will insert a clip, but it's not a full styling. I just wanted to show you the fit. This set is so beautiful. The quality of fabric, it is slightly sheer. This set, you guys, beautiful. Let me talk about the, the blouse first and then I'll get into the pants. So this is a medium large. It has like an oversized fit. Love it. It is extremely soft extremely soft it is sheer the fabric feels so good against your skin and i have sensitive skin y'all you guys know that if you're not new here and so i just can't rock with every fabric i mean that's just what it is now we all know zara is not cheap whatsoever but when i um before i purchased this i saw it on the website 
probably for like three weeks and I think it may have sold out or like two it's been it it was a little minute before I decided to pull the trigger and purchase because you know I'm trying to shop intentional this is not a cheap set but I, 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 I couldn't get my mind off of it. And every time I would go on the Zara website, I would go back to it. So I was like, you know what, let me just, um, you know, let me just go ahead and order it, see how I like it. And if I love it, then I'll keep it. If not, I can always return. This set, you guys, is so pretty and it feels so good and high quality. Mind you, I'm not like a big print person, but I'm becoming more of a print person. So we'll say that. I'm becoming more of a print person or incorporating prints into my wardrobe. You guys, this is everything. The color is beautiful. This red, oh my goodness. I absolutely love this. This is in a medium large. Now I purchased the pants typically for Zara before I was wearing extra large in their pants, like nothing less than an extra large. This is actually a large, and the reason why I went ahead and purchased this, I don't think they had extra large available, number one. Number two, the set that I wore on my previous vlog that you guys saw that was from Zara um, was a large, and I got that on sale, and I think that was the only option as well, and it actually fit me really well now versus when I first got it, it was too snug. So I went ahead, took a chance to get the large in these pants, and they fit they fit so perfect, you guys. These pants are so beautiful. One thing that I absolutely love about them is that they do have an elastic um, waist in the back. So it gives you a little bit of flexibility and just overall comfort when it comes to wearing it. I love these so much and y'all know how I feel about sets. You can wear them together, you can wear them separately. I love these, they were worth every penny this is what i mean when i say investment pieces y'all i understand that zara's price point is higher than the pretty little things and the fashion novas but the quality is better the quality is better and for me i've been purchasing from zara for a long time i have pieces literally for seven and eight years that look brand new and i've worn them so many times so i really truly stand by certain zara certain pieces from Zara. Now, I'm not gonna say this is everything. I'm not saying this is everything because I've had some bad, some bad experiences when it comes to certain pieces at Zara, but for the most part, and for pieces like this, A1, I love them. Between like their sets and their blazers, Zara's quality is good. The quality is everything. And the fit is everything. Like it looks like it was, made for my body versus another set that I'm about to show you. Y'all, I love this and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I am 5'5 five five and it fits me, you know, like it comes down a little bit over my shoe. It would come over my shoe, but I love this. Love this. It does um, have pockets. I know us ladies love us some pockets. It is slightly sheer, like I said, this is perfect for vacation. I mean, I'm going to a baby shower, is it next weekend or the weekend after? I'm going to a baby shower and y'all, <laughs> please believe I may be wearing this set. It's between this one and an a older Pretty Little Thing set that I do have that, I'm, that I love way more than the one that I'm about to show you. But yes, you guys, this this piece from Zara, if it is still on the website, I am gonna be editing and uploading this video tonight, so it should still be on the website, and I recommend that you go there as soon as possible if you're interested in purchase, because you know how Zara is. They will be sold out, and you will never see it again, okay? So the next piece I was a little bit disappointed in, because, and I'm gonna try to find a, um, a clip of the Pretty Little Thing set that I may be wearing to the baby shower. So y'all see it in a future vlog in the like very near future because the baby shower is this month. But if I were to wear it to the baby shower, but I purchased this set that I'm about to show you because of that set. I love that set so much. It fits me much better than when I first purchased it. And so I was like, you know what, let me go on Pretty Little Things website, see what other sets they have. So I purchased this set. It is like this black and white material. Um, oops, I'm showing you the wrong side. <laughs> 
I purchased this set here. It, the quality, it doesn't feel, it's not, okay, so it's not like sheer and it doesn't have the same fabric as the previous set. And I'll show you a clip of the previous set. I should still have um, some footage of it. You guys, I probably should not have, boom. I should not have tried this on right after Zara because the disappointed the disappointment was high okay like once you try on this zara set and then you go to this set you're like mm, do i really want this set but i'm not gonna return this because i think it definitely will have its you know it, i'll definitely wear it like this is not something that i wouldn't wear but the fit is just not right number one it is made for someone much taller than someone who is much taller than me I am swimming in this as far as the length goes as um, for the pants, swimming in them. And then the waist fits me perfectly, but the other parts of the pants just don't. So um, this is a size 12 and I typically wear a size 12 in pretty little thing um, the set that I you know was inspired by to get this the set that I already own is also a 12 and when I first purchased it it was very snug at the waist because there's no give there's no stretch at the waist um, and when it came to you know the hips and the butt and all that that fit me but that waist was kind of snug now that I've lost a little bit of weight the waist fits me perfectly but now the rest of the bottom is a little bit big this one is definitely big it's just not the right fit and i don't know if this is worth getting tailored um i don't know if the fabric is worth it now the fabric is definitely not zara's fabric it does not irritate me like it's not the cheapest of fabrics from fast fashion but it is not you know it's straight polyester it's a pretty little thing you can't really expect much um it is not sheer so you could definitely wear this you know different places um yeah it's it's oversized fit so i would definitely manipulate this show a little skin at you know crop the waist up tie it at the waist just to show a little skin at your stomach area just to kind of break up the print because this print is really like a lot it is in your face however when it comes to styling purposes for both of these sets i already have a look in mind so i'm definitely keeping this one because i already have a look in mind as in regards to styling now i may have to get this tail the pants tailored and hemmed because they're extremely extremely long if you are a tall woman and you really like this set it may fit you perfectly okay it may fit you perfectly but if you are five five or five six and been shorter it may be a little too long for you. I'm 5'5", five five and it is definitely too long for me. Um, but yeah, guys, I really do like it, but in comparison to Zara, like this is why I shop at Zara. This is why I invest in certain Zara pieces and not just the Zaras, but the mangoes, the Medina Republics, you know, certain pl places that have a higher quality um, fabric than the fastest fashion <laughs> i call them faster fashion like the pretty little things the fashion novas i feel like there are definitely levels to fast fashion and zara mango banana republic those those retailers have a little bit more um some of their stuff is cheap don't get me wrong some of it can be cheap but they have more options regarding quality so that is my comparison from those sets. Now, the last few items I wanna show you I are the items that I picked up from the thrift store yesterday. Let me go and grab them. All right, you guys, so these next two pieces are the pieces that I picked up at the thrift store yesterday. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I did not spend a lot of time at the thrift store. I went into Goodwill, okay, saw that side rack by the men fitting room or by the fitting room by the men section, saw a rack with pieces, and this just caught my eye. Mind you, you know, they're always announcing don't touch the pieces on the rack and allow the staff to put them out. Well, they didn't put them out yet, so, <laughs> and there was no staff member around. Oh my God, look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at the details. Oh my goodness. First of all, so this is technically a size 2X, but listen, who cares? I, I, I don't even care. 
I got this for $6.24. It definitely looks like something that was handmade either in India or a country in the Middle East. I absolutely love the design of this top. Number one, it is sheer. It ha it's basically has like a mesh fabric and it has so many like embroidered details. Even the buttons, y'all. Look at these buttons. Look at how pretty. This also reminds me something that you could wear to a festival. I can already imagine wearing this with some shorts. I'm not a festival girly. Like I don't do festivals much because I don't like the crowds. However, I would definitely like, um, you know, style this down with some denim shorts and call it a day. I absolutely love this top. Y'all, this is why I thrift, because where am I gonna just find this random? <laughs> this reminds me of something that like Nasty Gal would, you know, would, would sell, but the quality is gonna be definitely cheaper. Now, this isn't the highest of quality just because it is made out of mesh fabric, but I do feel like the details that are, um, the details of the design are handmade. Look at all the details. Look at all these details. And the fact that it doesn't have a label also makes me think that it was possibly handmade. Look at this. You guys, come on now. <laughs> Look at this. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. This is a statement piece. Like I mentioned, I would pare it down with some, you know, denim shorts. Have this be the statement piece. And call it a day this is beautiful i don't know where i'm gonna wear this to but i'm definitely gonna wear it i love this so much this is probably one of my favorite pieces that i've thrifted in a long long time well let me stop because in the last video i thrifted those belts <laughs> those belts i'm still thinking about those belts okay all right, so the last piece that I'm going to show you guys, I also thrifted, and it was on that same rack, y'all. That same rack. And this doesn't have like a clear label, but this is also a mesh blouse, and it has um, pearls on it. So the pearl details. And you guys, I'm just now getting into pearl. I mentioned in a previous video how I did not like pearl for the longest time, probably my whole adult life. life. I did not like pearls at all, but for some reason I'm getting into it. However, I don't, I couldn't just do pearls alone. I would definitely have to make it more edgy with some silver and gold um, jewelry. But when I tell you this is beautiful, beautiful, similar to the other blouse, I would definitely wear this, you know, um, simplify it with some shorts or something. Matter of fact, I have a Amazon, um, skims amazon dupe bodysuit that will go perfectly under this so i definitely think i would pair it with something like that with some shorts versus just like a, a bra just because you have to be really careful on the color because this is so see-through it's not like it's black where i could wear easily wear a nice black bra under it I have to wear the perfect undergarment in the perfect color and that bodysuit, the color that I have is light enough that I think it will go really well with this. And I actually have a few of those bodysuits. I have some from Skims, like directly from Skims and then some from Amazon, which will be the Skims dupes. And I have like a variation of nude colors and browns, but I think the color that I'm thinking about, I think will go perfectly under this. So you guys will see. If you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, okay? Make sure you subscribe so you guys can see what these looks end up, you know, how I style these looks. This is also considered a 2X, and it this is the label here. I am unfamiliar <laughs> with this label, but I absolutely love this. And, and mind you, this is very girly, very feminine, but I'll edge it out, okay? I'll edge it out just to make it more me and my style. I absolutely love it though. Absolutely love it. And it has like an elastic waist here. I'm not a big fan of this because I feel like it makes it look kind of cheap, but that is all good. And it's like a turtleneck. It has a pearl detail here at the um, back of the turtleneck where you just button it up but yeah this is it 
and I got this one for I believe the same price yes $6.24 from Goodwill so yes ladies that completes this haul I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog thank you so much so much for tuning in I hope you enjoy the content if you are new here I hope you would subscribe hit that notification bell um, if you want to follow me on Instagram feel free at Shireen underscore H I always put my username in the corner of the video screen you can connect with me at that same username on Twitter um, make sure you follow my LTK shop you'll be seeing these looks styled up thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next video Thank you.